we have now is going to lead to people dying that didn't need to die. Over the last 10 years, we've seen 130,000 people killed by austerity. We're talking about people being told they are fit to walk, fit to work, when they are suffering from cerebral palsy. We're talking about people that have been left with zero hour contracts. We're talking about people having to work on weapons that will be sent around the world to kill poor people. The message is this. When our government drops bombs on other people around the world, we are them and they are us. We have to be absolutely clear. We have zero interest connecting ourselves to Donald Trump, the last convulsions of Anglo-Saxon supremacy in Asia. Iraq has had the misfortune over the last 30 years finding itself at the center of five different cash cows for the military industrial complex. There is no equality of arms. The United States military spends more than the next seven largest militaries combined. It is a bigger force than humanity has ever known before. The five cash cows. Number one, the Iran-Iraq war in which hundreds of thousands, if not a million people died. The tears of people in the Middle East were nothing but profit to profiteers in this country, in Europe, and in other places in the world who benefited from the arms trade. US military presence in the region was not what it is today until the Gulf War gave it that step to push forward. And again, it was a win for the military industrial complex.